Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. Kia ora, welcome to my messy table. Um, well, I am back to um, do another section of my pages. I have taken my, my masking tape or my washi tape off and these will be trimmed so there's no white on them um, and I picked out some bits to stick down on them um, I'm not as sightful as what um, Laurie, Laurie is so this is what we're going to have we're going to have here we're going to have these we're just little bits of colour that I drew flowers on and I cut the words out um, as the um, stems, the, they were um, on book page so I'm going to just put them down as flowers my imagination's not wild <laughs> I, <coughs> oh, excuse me Asthma is not as good as it should be, and I found a little wee um, butterfly in one of my bits that I thought, oh, that'll look cute there. So we're going to put that there, and I've got a bit of purple wipe-off paint. I was cleaning my brush, and I thought, oh, why not? Purple grass or purple flowers in the front. It just looks like little bits of leaves and things so this is what I'm going to be doing this was just book pay um wiping off my stencil on a book page and I thought right have those numbers on there I did do a um, bit of stenciling on it can't say I'm overly happy with some I don't know what I'm going to do with that one there this one here I stenciled on this little flower so I thought I'll just put a little um, centre in my flower here. Bottom bit will be cut off. And I've got these little squares here that I thought, right, they look like they need to go there. And, and I've just been cutting these bits of shapes and things out of my um, painty papers. So I don't have a lot of wipe off papers because I always transfer them into painty papers. So I've got cut out this little swirly thing out of a um <coughs> a stencil wipe off onto a envelope. So I thought that can go over that little swirl there. Like that. Right, so what else I've got? This here to me is not an eight, it's an infinity sign. I have infinity signs on my wrists and I saw this, this beautiful piece of painted paper that somebody sent to me and I thought, oh, that makes a nice affinity sign, so I'm going to put that there and I just cut off another little bit to go down there and that's a bit heavier so I think I'm going to use heavier glue smush it around a bit with my finger always got mucky fingers I'm just going to put that right there give a dimension circles of infinity <laughs> so, all right. so it's been quite enjoyable working on this something different for me Put that down again and I must probably go over things a bit um, with um, I wasn't sure on this page here have got what have I got? 
lovely bits in the circle here that I cut out. Hmm. It's interesting there. But whether it goes there or not is another matter. Maybe I'll put that there and go back to my little arrow thing here. Just not quite sure. I'll leave that bit for now. Um, just got these little squares here. This is a butterfly and I thought I'd just put that on this flower as leaves. There, like that, and just put my little little boxes here. I might just glue down here like this. I'm quite liking that, so I think we'll do that. Oops, they start to pop out when they get into the end. Right, put that one there. And whoops, drop it out of fingers. That one there, straight on. And This one here, diagonally. Oh, okay, I'm happy with that. On this side over here, I was. This was just in my box of things. I was playing with cutting out hearts one day for something, and this was a leftover. And since I've sent stenciled hearts on there, I thought, why not? On there. And this one here can go like this. Yeah, quite happy with that. Now, what have I got? Not sure about that, and I'm not sure about this one down here. I do not really like that. So, um, let me have a look what else I've got in here. Got some half circles. Just put a little half circle to match the other bit there. flower to me so I might go with flowers again I'm very very snip that bit off there and we just have that there I think I'm okay with that a lot of flowers in it but I see it I see a lot of shapes, flowers, and my shapes for something. And I love flowers, but I am useless as a gardener or a pot plant 
person. They just, they do not have green fingers. And if I'm going to get my hands mucky, I want it to be in paint, not dirt. Okay, but these little things here could be a strange little leaf, couldn't they? Oh, it's just a bit big. We might have that there. Look, I think Laurie is um, guiding me here because she does little things like that. Just grabs shapes and thinks, oh, that looks like a leaf. All right. Well, I'll stay down there. I've got sticky fingers. Do we want another one of those? I think I've got another one of those somewhere. That one could go that way. Right, I think this is dead. And we can go in the bin. Oops. Rough as guts. My father used to say. Alright. Get rid of all the little bits. Did I glue that down? Yes, glued all that down. Mm, that's our last bit there. Not sure about that and I'm not sure about that. I do have this little thing here and I was looking at it before thinking I could make a little tree hut or a little just a little wonky house or something to um, cover that bit there. I even got some squares here that could be windows. Little bits I was just pulling out and thinking, oh, could use that for something. Okay, those ones could go that way. And this one could go this way. Hmm. I'm not um, unhappy with that. I will just get rid of that got enough of those. I don't need to keep them for shapes. And open another one and let's have a look. Just let's have a little look. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. My infection has cleared up but Got this lingering cough that which is affecting my asthma. Alright, I like that. Now, do you want that to be so wide or do we want it as a ladder? It won't cover our You want it like that? Oops. Move you up a little bit. Put the lid back on my glue. And have that there like that. That is not stuck down a little bit. Right. I think we will just trim that down. We might have that in a bit there that like it whoops put it the right way like that okay I'm okay with that and put some glue on now
only trouble using glue sticks get very sticky fingers okay right we're all done except for this very difficult bit over here do have this little wee goldy thing here I wonder let me just mm. nope nope maybe I'll just put in a little black circly thing on there Mm, yep, we'll go with that. Right, now we've got to get this down. So it's sort of in the middle. And in the right place. So our circle is Complete and sticking to my fingers. Oh, I'm not unhappy with it. Right, so that is that one done, and I've already done the other one. I will. Scrape these off, make sure they're all stuck down. It's not stuck. It's the trouble with sticking things on paint. Sometimes they don't like it. Right, and this is my other one that I did. This bit here had just some little Y type paintings on it and I just nothing I did worked so this was um, a jelly plate some a, a painty paper somebody had sent me with stamps on it so I just cut that out cut the little fancy corners in it and put that down to cover that and I'm quite happy with that so those are my pages and I'll be back when I've cut them out right I'm back and this is my um accordion book and um, I didn't have a tin like Laurie so I'm just going to have a front cover and I've decided that I really like this so this is going to go on my front cover and I'm going to stick a couple of bits of um, tape on it just to make sure it does hold and then we'll put some glue on it as well and I have shaped the corners the same as my my journal or my accordion book um, I'm quite liking that and I'm going to ink it with gold 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 See how this goes. I hope I'm in shot. Can't really see it all that much, but it is there. That's probably not the right sort of gold to have, but it's all I've got, and they were gifted to me by the lovely Trudy I let my fingers do the walking last night and went online and bought a white ink pad and inker so they were both there so I'd get them before they um, what do I do with the lid 
I've got that and they run out so you can you can see the gold on it yes you can so that is going to go there like that I'll just take off these bits oops wrong end stick and I just go around that as well right now it's going to be eyeballing it so I'm sorry if my head gets in the road right we are going to go about there Cool, so that is the front. Now I'm going to um, put a another jelly print on the back and then I'm going to count my pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going to do the same on the back. But I think that I'm short and I don't want to make any more. <laughs> so I'm just going to shorten my book. So we're going to lay them. Oh no, no, we're not going to have one there. We're going to have one there. One there. This knife might not be where they go, but I'm just putting them here so I so I um know how many I've got now that's the cover so we're going to cover we'll not have any on it either side so what I'm doing is if I haven't got enough I will just take a page off If I'm lucky, I might just have enough. I might have more than enough, actually. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to have this one. I think I'm going to have it that way. Well, look at that. And we're back to the front. So... I think we've got enough to put that one there, that one there, and that one there. And we do have enough to just cover the back and the front. Well, that is awesome. So I will be back when I have glued them in, and um, then this will be finished. Thank you for being with me, Kia Kaha, stay strong and I'll catch you again soon.